There he is. Oh, what's going on? There he is. Right, hey guys. Sorry for the wait, man. It's all right. All Part right. of the interview process. People yeah, don't know what yeah. really goes on behind the curtain. There's a uh, lot no. of stuff that goes on behind the curtain to make these things work and it look as good as they do. And uh, as good looking as you guys are too. Wow. Good to see you guys. We're, we're trying, you know, I'm trying to keep up with Chase and J. Uh, Miles here. Okay. Yeah. Co-host. <laughs> okay. Co-host. So, yes, Chasten, um, Kevin, this is the first time for you guys to, to meet each other. So, um, Kevin resides in Southern California. Where exactly in SoCal? I'm in San Diego. Excellent. You ever yeah. been you ever been to San Diego, Chasten? I have once, a long, long time ago. Oh, really? Well, I didn't so not, tell you anything about it today. It was not a very long time ago. Nope. <laughs> so, um, but you're originally uh, an East Coast guy, no? I am absolutely correct. Yes, I am. Been out here for about, um, I think it's going on about thirty-five years now. So I'm considered a native. But yeah. no, my rooting yeah. is in the is in New England, East Coast. Yeah. Yep. I knew. Yeah. Uh, I'm originally from Bristol, Rhode Island. It's five minutes away from Newport. Yeah, yeah. yeah. At, very familiar with that. I've got a lot of family in Long Island, New York. So we've got family in Rhode Island and uh, uh, Delaware, and yeah, a lot. Got a lot of family up there on my mother's side. Yeah. So I, I, I'm curious. You are the Hollywood hypnotist. I, I am. I am. I first of all, thank you so much. For, for <laughs> yeah. I got a question. Jason <laughs> has a question. No, no. I just, I just want to say. So while we're about to talk about being hypnotized and 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 all that stuff, yep. I got hypnotized in Vegas on stage like three years ago, full on put on a show for everybody with the DVD to prove it that I'll never let anybody watch. But yeah. I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to contact Mark. It's Mark Savard. That was him. I know. Yes, I know. Yes. I know. He's a good friend of mine. I'm, wow. I, I, I have access to the video. So oh, anytime wow. so, yeah, mean, you will for sure you need that video. All the way to the end. Give me a call. Yep. <laughs> I was the little winner, I guess you can say at, at the end of his show. And yeah, I made it all the way to the end. Yeah. How did that just happen? Is, is, is he the only hypnotist <laughs> there? Like, how did no. you, what, that shouldn't have just happened? What just happened between you two? Well, it, it's like real estate. Uh, everyone knows each other. It's kind of like the guest you had on today. It seems like everybody knew each other, uh, possibly have met at a convention or yeah. you haven't seen each other in a while. It's a very small world, not only in the work that we do, you as real estate people and me as a hypnotist, but the world is a very small place and yeah. you, people think it's a lot bigger than what it is, but it really isn't. And so I know who, who everyone is in my industry and we're all good friends. And just like you guys, we do a lot of collaboration. We bounce a lot of things off of each other and, you know, just keep it as positive as we possibly can, because there's a lot of negative that comes with the stuff that I do. Cause a lot of people see things on TV or in the movies mm -hmm. and they uh, create these things that are not reality because hypnosis is a very, very powerful tool, mm -hmm. a very natural organic tool that we can utilize to change anything we want in our lives. Awesome. Yeah. Um, ex expand on that. What took you in that direction? Was it an allure? Was it a um, a characteristic or a gift that you saw in yourself? What took you down that road? And um, and how did you arrive as the Hollywood hypnotist? Yeah, those are excellent questions. I love I love what your uh, thinking is. Tommy. Um, to start it off, uh, I went back to college to do this uh, as a two-year program that I found here in California. Um, I was in transition at the time. My original path of career was supposed to be a sportscaster. I wanted to work for one of the local news channels and eventually came out to Los Angeles. I was working for one of the, the bigger radio market stations, and that's how you kind of climb the ladder to get where you want to go. Well, there was a big strike. We're out of work. And so when, when I when I'm struggling in between, I always don't, I always want to maximize that time. I never want to waste time. So I always go back into academia and I found this. I always had a strong interest in it as a child and thought, okay, let me, let me check this out because I didn't, I didn't think any of it was real. I didn't understand it. I was pretty ignorant and naive to all of it. And so I signed up for the program 
And what made me a believer is we went on a field trip at one of the uh, world famous hospitals here, which I'm now a staff member uh, called Cedar Sinai. Cedar Sinai. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And um, I watched a complete C-section performed under hypnosis so with no drugs, no epidural, nothing. And um, wow. me and my buddy, we were the class clowns standing in the back behind a two-way mirror, kind of clowning about the whole thing. But actually when it happened, uh, it was pretty much a draw-dropping experience. And it was like, whoa. So from that point, I started to understand this uh, natural resource a little bit better. And the first thing that I started doing was stop biting my nails because I was pretty old at that point. I was in my late 30s and I was still biting my nails and it was kind of uh, kind of awkward. So that was the first thing that I did. And then I started making a lot of different changes in my life. Of course, I graduated, opened up my own private practice and I started to help people with what, what most of us are known for, which is stop smoking and lose weight, stress and anxiety. And so I started that way, and then that turned out to be because I my work was starting to get well known. Mm -hmm. uh, and as you know, the best form of advertising is word of mouth. Mm -hmm. And so the word got out that my success rate was very, very high. So I started to attract a lot of uh, celebrities and sports figures clientele, and we started to work with them. And you mentioned a couple of them that I've worked with uh, to help stop smoking and, and other issues. And so I became uh, that guy and I was dubbed the Hollywood hypnotist by, I think it was Access Hollywood. They wanted to do an interview because it leaked, because um, it was leaked on Jay Leno because my work is confidential and is private, just like any other therapist. Okay. And so, but, but the celebrity happened to leak the information and so when they leak it, it's it's on them at that point. It's not me. And so I got contacted, and the next thing you knew, uh, I was dubbed the Hollywood hypnotist because of my work with all the major celebrities, major sports figures. But that's just not my my clientele. I also work with everyone uh, who wants to change something in their lives. Uh, I've become branded and known as the Hollywood guy uh, worldwide, um, and that's all great and everything. But my passion is still in helping people to help themselves. That's what I do. Uh, for a living and you guys have been talking about real estate and I'm and, and I'm surprised this didn't come up Tommy so you didn't do your research enough so I'm gonna give you a little slap on the wrist all right uh, what did I miss hey, what you did miss uh, was right in your wheelhouse is um, and I've done a couple episodes and if you go to my YouTube channel you can actually see the videos for a million dollar listing and so I've been a consultant oh, wow. <laughs> for real estate people to help them uh, to, again, gain confidence, learn techniques, learn actual hypnotizing techniques when they're on a real estate call. There's a lot of different things that can happen that you can do to uh, facilitate, you know, increasing your bottom dollar. And so, yeah, that's a lot of the work that I do as well, a lot, a lot in the real estate community um, because of, again, there's a lot going on with has, what has to happen with, with selling a home. It looks simple to the buyer, but they don't really see, just like this particular broadcast, they don't see what goes behind the curtain. There's a lot of people at work. There's a lot of things that have to happen and it all has to come together to make it work. And so the people who have been in it a long time, like yourselves, you know, those are the guys who are the producers, right? Because you understood along the way and some of the things you've learned along the way, the hard way, you know what I mean? So don't, why not make it easier and, and get more tools in your tool bag so you're able to do your job at your maximum uh, performance? Wow. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is it's it's amazing. Right. Um, we're we're going to dive into that for one second. We have one question from the crowd. Does hypnosis work for anxiety issues? Work well with kids? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Positively. Um, I can hypnotize all the way down to the age of five. Wow. And so anxiety, stress, and it's so funny that it just came up. I guess this is my week for dealing with uh, younger adults. I just finished shooting yesterday a YouTube video for a very, very popular YouTuber. I think he's got like uh, 
10 million subscribers or something to that effect. Yeah, he's like 12 years old. And he had all him and all of his friends over. And that video is going to be coming out, I think, in about a week or so. So be looking for that as well. I'm also going to post it up on my social media so everyone can look at that and see how it the hypnosis actually works with younger adults. And like I said, it goes all the way down to five years old. And I actually have some videos up there now where I've actually hypnotized. I, I was at a birthday party so six-year-olds and eight-year-olds and the parents and probably like yourselves i i know tommy you have some children but i'm not sure about we don't have any uh, okay well when you do <laughs> and i don't have any either but parents realize very quickly how do i do that because they they, they realize that their child is uh is listening they realize that their child is is doing things that they wouldn't normally do if they gave them those suggestions and so it becomes a, a lot of amazement as to what you can really see and over the last 25 years that i've been doing this i've seen a lot of amazing things as well with life changes that people have made uh with this natural organic state called hypnosis again i don't have the power I don't have the ability, but Tommy did hit on something. Yes, I do have that gift. And I didn't realize it, and it's a God-given gift. And I didn't realize that uh, for a long, long time. And then God made this my ministry because I was, I actually gave this up for a while and I enrolled in uh, become a pastor because I thought that was my original calling. And I went to seminary school and I really put this all behind me uh, for a, a long while. And I really focused and studied on that. Well. God shut those do doors and uh, he ended up allowing this to continue to be my ministry because I reach people worldwide. And so I realized that the ability and the uh, gift that he has given me is for that use. Awesome. Wow. Uh, so I think that covers all, your, all the questions. Yeah. No, I mean, I'm, I'm blown away. You, Jason? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm about to like burst with just a series of questions over here, but no, I'm not, I'm not going to do that to you tonight. <laughs> no. Well, um, I, I wanted to, to ask you for a little demo uh, sure. or perhaps a walkthrough about some best practices e either that you do uh, personally or that you would coach one to do uh to try with for instance with clientele or with children are those two things completely separate i'd have to imagine there's some of the same elements than working with adults and working with children tommy you are amazing you have some amazing oh, insight my friend tommy. you really really do i mean it's it's very intuitive with you so i i i imagine you're very very good at what you do and you're going to continue to excel to the to the highest levels Thank because you, you just have so. this natural thing about you that i know it's not even research it's not it's just how you think and so hypnosis is different with everyone actually it's never the same and there's no pattern in it because everyone interprets language differently. Mm -hmm. And hypnosis is done with words. I don't get a watch out, I'm not gonna get you know, a spiral out, we're not gonna, this is all TV and movie stuff. Right. Uh, yeah, you can do it that way. And and again, I'm a collector and I'm a historian on, on the world of hypnosis. So I have a lot of those pieces and some people wanna get hypnotized that way and that's fine, but it's not necessary or required because hypnosis is really done with words. And in actuality, both of you and everyone listening or looking at this program are actually hypnotists as well. And let me explain that very quickly, because we all take in suggestion all day long. It's a very natural state. It's called environmental hypnosis. That's why everyone wears the different types of clothing they wear. They buy the different types of houses they buy. That they buy the different types of jewelry because they're all suggestible to different types of products. And a lot of people buy, and I and I, and I know all of you know this as well as your uh, listening audience. They not necessarily buying the house. They're buying you. Mm -hmm. There's a large factor in the sale of what is really happening. So you have to gain that rapport instantly upon meeting your client. And that's a, a lot of the key. But let's get back to the suggestion part. So this will make you laugh because this is how well all of you are hypnotists. Now, uh, Tommy, I know you're married and, and are, are you married, my friend? No, or no. Okay, so no married, no kids. So, but you have a girlfriend? No, I'm I'm straight single. <laughs> straight single. Yeah, he's a tough one. Yeah. He's a tough one. But Tommy, you're going to relate to this because how we take suggestion is, especially you, Tommy, your wife. 
she tells you to do things and you're going to do them because you don't want to be sleeping on the couch. You don't want to have that issue. <laughs> so that's a direct power of hypnosis all within itself. It is. And if you're a parent, okay. you're a hypnotist to your child because you're constantly giving your child suggestions as to what they need to do to guide them to become leaders and uh, uh, adults of our society. Yeah. Yeah. This is true. I'm following you. Yeah. So that's how hypnosis basically works and how I use, how it's really utilized is I find the sentence structure that your mind understands because we all process information differently and we communicate differently when we vocalize it. So I find the language that your mind understands, which is your subconscious mind, and then I start speaking to it. And your mind is like a computer. So mm. I'm basically the computer programmer and because we need experts to help us along our way in life. You guys are expert real estate people, right? So, I mean, I could do it on my own, but I don't. I call somebody up like you if I wanna sell my home or if I wanna buy more property, I call up the experts. So that's what happens with me as well. I don't have that power. I don't sprinkle dust on you. Nothing magical is going to happen. It happens because I understand the natural organic state of hypnosis and how the applications work. And everyone can do it, it's just, how you want to learn it and how you understand how to communicate to that individual. Wow. 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 So wow. everyone can do it. I did. I just never thought of it like that. Um, right. Because all hypnosis is really self hypnosis. I'm in this case, when people hire me to help them to stop smoking, anxiety, stress, uh, sell homes, better focus on whatever it is that they want to change in their lives. I just become the guide. I'm the facilitator. I'm the expert. Wow. So, Kevin, with hypnosis for for things like that, like stopping smoking or doing a job better, is it is it a one time thing where you do it and then they're forever hypnotized, or is it sessions? Where I love you guys. You guys are <laughs> you guys are very in depth and intelligent. I don't get a lot of great interviews like this because they, they just don't understand it and they're still trying to understand it during the interview. But you guys I are awesome. Know, so. <laughs> so, I know it works. <laughs> so here's the thing. It could be one session. It could take up to six sessions, depending on the issue that's being presented. So let me give you an example. Uh, I had a smoker many years ago when I was just starting out. It was my, about my fifth year in. And this guy came to see me. He was ex-Marine, pretty rough guy. And he was a 40-year smoker, two and a half packs a day, and he was smoking Camel non-filters, one of the worst cigarettes you can imagine when you smoke. So he comes in, and I always have to qualify them with, number one, are you here because of your spouse, or are you here because you really want to be here? Because you'd be surprised. A lot of people give me a call because their family member, their spouse is pressuring them, and, and it's just not going to work that way. You have to really want to do this process. You have to be open and willing to do it. Well, anyway, he came, he comes in because he really wanted to come in. And he was really kind of nervous, as most people are, with the formality of the hypnosis. Well, I didn't have to go through the formality with him because I detected immediately that he was a little overwhelmed and he was nervous and he was macho and he was trying to prove himself and all this. And I just basically looked him in the eye. I said, where's your cigarettes at? He pulled them out of his breast pocket. He put them on the desk and I said, okay, you're done. Go home. You're now a non-smoker. 40 years, two and a half packs a day, you're done. It was that simple. He's like, no way, this is BS, blah, blah, blah. He's one of those really rough and tough mm -hmm. Marine guys. One of the guys you want on the front lines if we're having an issue sure. in, in, our, in our world, right? And so he storms out of the office and I said, oh, hey, hey, by the way, give me a call in about a week and let me know your progress. Ah, this stuff didn't work, I don't believe this, blah, blah, blah. He gives me a call a week and a half later and he says, Mr. Stone, I am so sorry what happened in the office. I, I'm just in awe right now. I am now a non-smoker. I haven't even thought about picking up that pack of cigarettes. Yeah. All the cigarettes I had, I destroyed and gave them, uh, threw them in the garbage. And I'm, I'm, I'm a complete non-smoker. And I, you didn't even really hypnotize me, did you? And I said, <laughs> uh, well, you think what you need to think. We accomplished the goal. That's all we needed to do. Uh, and so, uh, so there you go. That was one session. But, you know, that's a unique situation. Can it happen to everyone that way? Absolutely. In one session, I stopped biting my nails. Uh, but it took me a couple other sessions to do a couple other things I want to change in my life. And I'm still making that evolution because life is an evolution. 
life is constantly changing. And so I'm continuing to work on myself as well with many different things. And so sometimes it takes a little bit more, but the, 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 the average is between one and six sessions for most issues that people are coming in with that they want to change in their lives. Awesome. So, um, yeah, this is, <laughs> I, I, knew, I knew, I knew that we'd be getting this information from you. I, I, I kind of saw the interview going this way. I'm just so I impressed that in this whole, uh, or, or about this whole world, because what we see in Vegas or, you know, that's, 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 a, it seems to be like very much like real estate. That's just one part of the whole industry. That's just Correct. one part of the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. And I do both. Of, I both, I do both. As a matter of fact, the reason I, I, I got into the entertainment side, well, I live in the capital of the world, the entertainment capital of the world. And uh, a lot of the celebrities and agents, and they kept encouraging me, hey, come out to my party. Can you do a little party? We're having a party this weekend. Can you come out and do some stuff? And that's basically how I started in the entertainment side of what is really happening. But I realized very quickly, it was a very powerful side because that was my first introduction to hypnosis as well back in college. Um, there was a hypnotist who came out. I watched it. I thought it was great. It was a lot of fun. And I thought, oh, okay, and I forgot about it. But, but by the time I became this guy, this board certified hypnotherapist, I started realizing that the entertainment is a very powerful vehicle because it introduces a lot of people in a very positive way of how, how this stuff really works. And if it's done with the right person, like my good friend Mark in Vegas, um, you're having a good time and you, and you have a positive experience from it and you walk away being empowered instead of feeling negative or any overwhelmed by it. And so that, that, that is a great introduction to it as well. Plus it became a great marketing vehicle for me because I'm reaching more people with the applications of a stage hypnosis show. And again, done correctly. And I've really designed my programs to be educational. There's an educational platform underneath all of the fun and all of the stuff that's really happening. So the people who are really paying attention get to see the process, how, to, how it works step by step all the way to the end of the program. Mm. So can this be done through a through a computer, like someone across the? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely, and we're gonna do some stuff with you two. Right. But this oh, is no. most of my work is right here through this computer now. Oh. Okay. Um, I have a private practice in Beverly Hills, and oh, most of my work. I'm sorry, I have to reintroduce you again, everybody. This is Kevin Stone, the Hollywood hypnotist. He's joining us from San Diego, California. Um, is a, a special guy that has. Um, that has helped people put away their crutches of smoking, overeating, and weight, and, and help aided their weight loss. And he's joining us here on YPX After Hours. Go ahead, Kevin. Wanted to reintroduce the reintroduce you to the newcomers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got some new people. Good. Yeah. So I forgot where we were. Um, you're about to hypnotize us. No. <laughs> you're talking about through the computer. I'm sure. Oh, through the computer, right? Yeah. Uh, so this has uh, been most of my work, and now I'm consulting a lot of my colleagues on how to do this because about 17 years ago, uh, again, I, uh, my work became wor world world known, international, and so a lot of people are flying in from other countries, and there was a lot of time and a lot of downtime being wasted on office visits coming in, me driving in, there's a lot of time with that. Like I told you earlier in the program, I'm one to maximize time. Mm -hmm. We only have 24 hours within a day, and what are we gonna do with those 24 hours in that day? And so I don't like downtime, and that's why I ended up going back to school, because again, every time I have downtime, I'm learning, I'm reading, I'm, I'm, I'm continuing to achieve my highest potential in life. And so what I ended up doing 17 years ago, I started using this technology that everyone is now jumping on board with, with this COVID-19 and starting to understand the applications of it. And I really think the changes are going to really start to happen when all of the dust settles and people are going to realize that, wait, I've been ordering online food and necessities. I think I'm going to continue to do that because it makes my life easier and it maximizes my time. Sure. I don't have to get in the car, drag the kids out, go to the grocery store. Oh, they can do it right there from online. They can buy. I mean, now the technology, I have friends who are it just, it's just blowing my mind in the car industry. They're selling Mercedes Benz where people are not even looking at the vehicle. They're doing everything online and they're delivering 
all through this technology. Oh, and yeah. I, I would imagine that uh, real estate is becoming the same way because I've been, uh, I have a couple of friends in that industry. Well, they have 3D optics that take full camera views of a home and the property. And you never have to leave your own home to go buy a home. <laughs> and so I think all of this technology is not only going to facilitate, but to continue to progress and help the industry, all industries for what it is. And I think that's the positive side of this COVID-19 thing that has happened. But like I said, I've been doing this for 17 years. So to me, it's it's kind of old hat. So when I've become a consultant uh, and helping others to understand how to do the technology, because you'll be surprised. And if and even if you go to, uh, I guess, uh, YouTube or Facebook, you can just click in uh, uh, Zoom or Zoom uh, uh, calls and all that kind of thing and you'll f see all of the all of the goofy and error things that people are doing which is kind of humorous but i think all of that will get ironed out eventually and this will become a a, a way of life for all industries that's just my my opinion for right now but uh, but it's been my way of life for 17 years i rarely make an office visit any longer unless i really really need to do that huh. I never would have thought. I'm going to get that question, Chase and Dustin. How about you bring on a question? We had a question from the uh, from the audience. I can see it here. Go ahead. Can you elaborate on how hypnotherapy can help someone overcome fear? Oh, see, these are the easy ones. <laughs> people, people concerned about anxiety and fear. Uh, and you'd be surprised as well, especially in your industry. As a matter of fact, one of the videos that you'll see if you go to the YouTube channel is me doing the uh, million dollar uh, listing uh, was one of the real estate agents. She was terrified. Here's the irony. She was terrified of selling homes. <laughs> so, mm. so they called me in. We did a whole episode of getting her uh, – removing the fear, removing the anxiety, removing the stress so she could sell this multi-million dollar home in Los Angeles. And um, so I hope that answers the question. Hypnosis and fear and anxiety and stress, these go. this is this is the easy stuff in, with the applications of hypnosis. Um, very easily to overcome and that means snakes, spiders, uh, fear of success, fear of uh, you know uh, selling homes, fear of whatever it is, um, the applications of hypnosis are very effective and very, very powerful. Yeah. So is it um, so much as to putting people, and this kind of goes back to a previous question, is it always, does it always re um, require putting someone in like a trance? When you think of hypnosis, you think of like that state. It's yeah. not that, is it? <laughs> Tommy, did you do that again? I was kind of yeah. like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was my undertaker. <laughs> that was my <laughs> That's how I was when I was in Vegas that time. I mean, exactly. <laughs> yeah. and, and and a lot more than that. <laughs> <laughs> but from what I'm understanding, it's not always that. No, it isn't. In actuality, um, do you guys feel hypnotized right now? I had a feeling that I was probably going to be. What? <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> that's a that's what? Because I feel the same, but in understanding what you're saying, it's quite possible that I could I could be and not know it. I tell you, well, I get a million, let me let you in on a little million dollar secret. Mm -hmm. You both, and including the people watching this and the people listening, are already in hypnosis. Because, like I've been telling you, we go in and out of it about a thousand times a day, right? It's environmental, oh. it's natural. So what everyone has been doing for the last, oh, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes or so. You've been listening and focusing in on this program and not just me, but but the host, you two. And so you haven't been thinking about, oh, I got to go do the dishes. Oh, I got to go feed the kids. Oh, I got to go shopping. Oh, I got to go do this after this program. You've been focusing exactly on this information. That is hypnosis in its simplest form. Hey, man, to uh, yeah. Kevin Stone, the Hollywood <laughs> hypnotist. Hey, Kevin, will you please uh, make sure that uh, you you let our audience know where they can find, where they can purchase your content, where they can contact you? Yeah, uh, absolutely. Uh, you can go to my website. All the information is on there, not just information about um, me, uh, but what I do, both, both companies that I, I'm in charge of. But you can learn a lot about hypnosis, a lot of free information on there. And the hypno the uh, the website is very simple to remember. It's hypnotist.com. 
Simple as that. H Y P N O T I S T dot com. And you can go on there and learn all about hypnosis, how to do it. Then you can click all of the social media links. Go to the YouTube to watch the million dollar listing video because it's very specific to this audience, I would think. I'm going. Uh, then you can see other videos on there. We talked about children and we talked about hypnotizing a lot of different types of people. And all those videos are on there as well on the YouTube channel. So check all that out. But it's hypnotist.com. So you guys want to try something very quickly? Sure. Yeah, sure. All right. So, and, and uh, by the way, the viewing audience or the listening audience on this program can do this as well, right? And so when we're done with this particular thing, you can all comment in the comment section and we can get a little bit of feedback on that. Does that sound good, guys? Sure, yeah. Okay, so again, I'm not gonna officially hypnotize you in a formal way, kind of like um, what you see in the movies and TV. There's a formal process to getting people in hypnosis, but like I said, you can do it instantly as well. And I'm gonna show you some things of how uh, suggestibility works and how environmental hypnosis works, okay? So everyone now, uh, take your hands and put them like this, like you're getting ready to pray. Now fold your fingers down just like this. Good, now take your two pointy fingers, put them up like this. Now look directly down the center of the two fingers. Don't focus on me. You'll find it starting right now. Those two fingers will start to move in closer and closer together. If there's two magnets on each finger, the will move in. Pulling and tugging, tugging, pulling, closer, closer now. They will touch. When they do touch, you reach out of your suggestibility. The more you resist them from moving in, the more they will touch, 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 touch. Good. You can relax now, gentlemen and audience. Yeah, relax. There you go. Isn't that powerful stuff right there? That's straight suggestion. Now, I watched Tommy a little bit. He was fighting a little bit. He said, I'm going to, I'm gonna, uh, no way. That's, uh, ooh, uh, right? That's direct suggestion, my friends. And wow. a lot of the uh, watching audience, listening audience, I'm sure their fingers came in as well. We, we did it right. <laughs> uh, you will write me a check, Tommy, for the amount of me <laughs> too. So, so that blows people's minds, right? And it really does because that's direct suggestion of what's happening. And your mind is picking up the language that I'm giving each individual very quickly, very rapidly. So from that point, I can convert you into that, uh, all that crazy stuff that we see of what we think hypnosis is. But that's just a relaxed state. In wow. actuality, when you're in a hypnotic state, you're more in control than you are now in this environmental state. So that's how powerful a hypnotic state is. Wow. Simply amazing. Audience. YPN, this is Kevin Stone, the, the Hollywood hypnotist. Kevin, thank you so much for.